Recently, I transitioned from editing on a PC using Sony Vegas to editing Final Cut, uh, editing using Final Cut Pro on a Mac. When I did so, I noticed that my hard drive would fill up quickly. I had a good sized hard drive, but it would quickly fill up with this blue area called Other. And I found out that this Other was hidden files inside of Final Cut Pro. So let me show you how to find those files and how to increase your workflow. First of all, I created a file today called Import Files. And before I created this file, this is what my other looked like. I had 93 gigabytes of other used. After I created this file and I imported one video, I now have other taking up 158 gigabytes of space. So I imported the file from my SD card and it basically ballooned the file. So let me tell you what happens. When you open up Final Cut Pro, you want to import media. It gives you a couple of options. So if I click on this and I click import media, it pops up and it's asking me if I want to transcode the media, create optimized media, or create proxy media. Now, if you hover over this, it tells you that this is a good idea and it's going to help you in your editing process for both of these options. So I tried doing that. Now, as I discovered, if you transcode and import the files, it actually increases the file size. I record on Canon uh, video cameras, an XA10, and other models. Now when I import the files, I import an AVCHD video file and I want to show you what happens. So I'm going to select my library here that ha I imported one file into. If I right click on it or control click, I can go down to show package contents. This will allow you to explore what's inside of this Final Cut Pro library. And now I can see it has my files, I have my original media, my render files and my transcoded media. So the transcoded media contains those files inside of Final Cut Pro that were optimized to make it run smoother and quicker. If I look at my original media, I have one clip which is a 2.95 gigabyte clip. I now look into my transcoded media which is the exact same media my proxy media, which is supposed to make it editing much quicker, is a 7.19 gigabyte clip. If I go into my high quality media, it now shows 55.61 gigabytes. So this one file size that was 3 gigabytes is now taking up over 60 gigabytes of space inside of my hard drive. This really slows down the computer and I noticed as I edited, even if I edited using proxy media, it would slow down and bog down the computer and I was not able to have an optimal workflow. Oftentimes I'd get the color spinning wheel indicating that the computer was having issues. So let me show you a better way of importing your files. I have a, a library here, import files too. I'm in order to import media, you can either click on the icon that says Import Media or go up to File, Import Media. Now what I would recommend doing is choose Copy to Library. This will allow you to move your library from location to location. I like to store my libraries on an external hard drive so I can move it from computer to computer. If you do this though, you have to have the same version of Final Cut Pro X running. If you have different versions or different builds of Final Cut Pro X, it may not work from computer to computer. But in this case, I have the same version, so I'm going to go ahead and click Copy to Library. And then I want to make sure that transcoding, create optimized media, and create proxy media are not checked. I do not want to do either of those because it will create extra files and will bloat my computer and actually slow down my computer in the editing process. So I'm going to go ahead and do that and I'm going to choose the exact same video file that I chose for the other clip. So I'm going to select this one. I'm going to click import selected. It's going to import this video clip. There's a little clock here in the window that's showing me the progress of it importing. Once that is finished, it's going to show me that the video has completed importing. It will take it a few moments to import. Now, if you were to transcode the media, after it imported, it would then take a longer time period in order to 
transcode or make the media those bloated big file sizes that I showed earlier. Now that it has finished the import, I'm going to go ahead and close this library. And I'm going to come over here and I'm going to control, uh, control click or two finger click and I'm going to go into show package contents. Now I can go through and I can explore my file. I have the original media which is still the 2.95 but then in my render files I don't have other files that are going to bloat and slow down my computer. I can compare that to my first import which has over 60 gigabytes of extra bloated files that are supposed to speed up the workflow. In my case they slowed down the workflow and made it take longer to edit and slowed down the computer in processing. Once again this is not for the ultra professional who is broadcasting in HD on a national network or for somebody who is creating film that's going to be shown in theaters. But this is a workflow for the rest of us who want to edit a lot, don't have a big budget for large hard drive spaces, and just want to share our work online or on DVDs. I hope this video has been helpful in understanding how to have a more efficient workflow using Final Cut Pro 10.